Yo, what's up people? My name is Tanachi and I'm back here in the world of Satisfactory. Okay, so I hope you've all been keeping really well. The days are getting warmer and uh, here in the UK, when you get a bit of sun, uh, I don't take it for granted. And so I've been enjoying the, the sun as well with, uh, with family and friends. Kind of been slowing down a little bit, so I haven't been putting out too many videos, um, but I have done a bit since the last time. Okay, so on the last video, I was talking about this um, uh, power station I did a long time ago in Update 3. And Hannah and Snut did a video where they showed this area and some of the changes in Update 6. And I noticed that was a, a huge, like somewhere like right here, there was like a, a big mushroom shaped rock. And so I'm definitely gonna have to change this old factory. As I mentioned, I was gonna get around to it anyway. It's a really old factory. But since I saw the video by Coffee Stains and uh, there's definitely gonna be some um, obstruction there with this factory. What I thought I would do is keep all of the refineries doing the plastic rubber and the turbo fuel and just take all of the fuel generators and delete all those and do another level right on top of the refineries and put all the fuel generators there. And that'll be quick and easy to do. It won't take too long because I can keep all the refineries. I don't have to do all that again. I'm being lazy, that's what it is. It does be really lazy. I should do the whole thing again, but I can't bother. Yeah, so what I did was just put a second level and put the refuel generators on top. And that ended up looking just like this. So as I mentioned, um, I've got all of the, the same setup down below and with all of the refineries doing plastic and rubber and what's it called? Heavy oil residue byproduct, which goes to these refineries at the end. And they turn that into um, turbo fuel. We still got the train station at the bottom as well. After all of that pretty much stays the same. And here I'm making a little bit of a, a packaged fuel for Eden. Other than that, all of the bottom here pretty much stays all the same. Just put a second layer on top, nice and simple. It looked like a mushroom. It wasn't a mushroom, but it was like the shape of a mushroom. Um, a bit like, um, it's a bit like one of these, like one of these huge fungi and mushrooms, um, but made out of rock, but that kind of shape. Where it is anyway, I'm not sure. That was somewhere here. I mean, it'd not be a right bastard if they if they change it again and they move it like there. And that would be a right bastard, wouldn't it? Oh dear. Anyway, okay, let's hope it doesn't happen. But anyway, if it does, we'll deal with it. Uh, nice and simple, really quick to do. So I deleted all the fuel generators that were there, put a second layer on top. And as the refineries stay all the same, uh, that was pretty quick to do, took less than a couple of hours, I think. And, um, but yeah, anyway, so hopefully this build should be safe now, I hope. Uh, you never know until the day that it still could change. Nothing set in stone yet, of course. It was nice to do something that was uh, quick and easy to do. So a few generators from there to here, job done. Yes, yes. Okay, so first thing is I did the train station to this build, which I did in the last video, and I did a little train station there, and that's bringing in um, some plastic, which you can probably just see now, the train just left, and that's bringing in some plastic there. And they're all heading off in that direction, which we'll get to in a second. So I haven't done too much else with this build. Um, I did end up putting a, well, a name, which I kind of mentioned. Um, I went with the uh, the chain foundry for kind of obvious reasons and I kind of started on the inside but I haven't really done anything but I'll get around to that eventually and um, but otherwise all the goods are coming out the uh, the rear side and I've removed all the the sinks that were there and we've got all the items going along here picking up the plastic from the train station as we saw and heading in this direction yes yes and so I decided to build here in this purple forest area and at first what I thought I was going to do was build along the river but then after thinking about it I thought this is only for assemblers and mid tier items I'm not going to do anything too fancy with this as it's only mid tier items so what I decided to do I've got this pretty boring and unpleasant looking structure which is bringing all the resources from that thing there to that odd thing over there and I don't want to move that so what I did is I used this structure as a support for the factory and it kind of copied it across this side and it kind of gave me like a support structure and I built above all the trees here so I didn't have to worry about the terrain and also because I'm doing a mild configuration I had to do the system that I was kind of doing in Atom Industries kind of reconfigure mildly the machines later on depending what I might need them for on a later project but yeah so nothing too fancy and that ended up looking something like this. Yeah, and yeah, so, well, yeah. So chain factory. So we got the chain foundry over there, all the goods coming along up the leg here. So what I was trying to do is, um, what was I trying to do? Yeah, that's it, of course. So I was trying to stick with the mechanical idea as I kind of went with the chains over there and it all looks very mechanical in nature. So we got large chains on the side, um, giving the impression that this whole structure is being uh, held up by these um, uh, these large chains that the 
on all, all the sides and I'm not sure what that is initially what I was trying to do well as I mentioned I had this um, this structure going from there as I mentioned all the way to that factory over there and I didn't want to move that as I said that's what I was thinking I was going to copy it on this side uh, coming much further maybe to uh, maybe to around uh, here or something I wasn't sure and trying to give the impression that on the side uh, it's a mechanism for the whole structure sliding up and down uh, hence why I had these kind of bars uh, but I ended up scrapping that but kind of still kept the um, these these um, I don't know you know I don't know whatever it is anyway that's what it is it doesn't really make any sense at all like I said most of the time I don't really know exactly what I'm doing I'm just winging it and uh, improvising and making it up as they go along but it does have a, at least a kind of futuristic industrial kind of feel to it I guess I wanted to have the ability to have some kind of very minor basic uh, configuration with this factory because um, I wasn't sure well the whole idea is that this is going to produce very basic mid-tier assembler produced items on this floor um, but as I don't know which items I'm going to need for future projects I wanted to have it so I can kind of configure it a little bit so the resources will come in on the lake as I mentioned all the way from over there up the lake and each of these rows of constructors produces um, six different items I think it might see here that all these machines are yellow but that's because they're actually full of resources and not because they don't have enough ingots as you can see um, there's plenty of resources uh, that can still come in but all of these machines for example they're full and there's a lot more spare resources that could be produced and sent up to the assemblers to produce more of these kind of mid-tier items status AI limiters reinforced plates uh, circuit boards and encased industrial beams and all that kind of stuff all the usual uh, kind of like low, lower mid-tier items and I've got 30 was it 36 I think assemblers and the way I set it up as like with Atom Industries in the middle there's this um, central kind of like bus system with all the items going up and down as usual so at the top the assemblers can just send down a lift and I can pick off any item I want from any of those belts and then change the recipes to produce exactly which items I need at the moment I've got them set like six items and I'm sorry six machines producing one set of items so six items 36 machines and six uh, assemblers assigned to each of the machines but as I said the whole idea is that I can set for example maybe half of those assemblers to produce reinforced plates and the other half to do AI limiters or whatever and there should be enough resources on the constructors below uh, to satisfy at least half of the assemblers producing one item it's fairly easily configurable we're just sending down lifts onto the appropriate uh, belt underneath and that's why you've got to kind of have like a, a square setup because this kind of setup really only works when all the machines are kind of like really close to the central bus system and it kind of works for its uh, intent and purposes at the top I've put a lot of cranes on runner systems so they can like give the impression they slide up and down and pick uh, resources from the machines put like these arms on pistons uh, like on a runner system or give the impression that it can slide up and down and at the end here we've got a drone pool so all the items will get picked up here and at the moment they're being sent like everything else Eden, Area 51, Infinity Works they're all being sent to that alien floating structure and at the beginning here I've got another one of these um, splitters programmable splitters where I can either send stuff to a sink which I've got everything going to the sink at the moment or either send them to the right output which will send them in there and they'll head off to the drone pool to be sent to the um, floating alien thing. But yeah, anyway, so that's Infinity, not Infinity, that's um, uh, the Chain Factory. So Chain Factory together and being fed by the Chain Foundry. As I said before in many videos, I do like to experiment with different styles. And as I said, they sometimes work, sometimes they don't. They do come out looking kind of odd most of the time. But I like to experiment and try different ideas. And I'm trying to stick with the concept of every factory that I do. I want it to look fairly different from anything I've done before and I'll, I'll try and keep to that going forward as well and uh, yeah okay anyway enough of that okay so moving on I've started a new project and this is going to be uh, well when update 6 comes out I want to start something new in the new area they're doing in the northern spire area and I'm doing this kind of like in preparation for that uh, this will be doing what's it going to be doing aluminium and plastic and rubber so I'm over here in the uh, near the swamp areas um, but I've got a train track right somewhere somewhere here where is it hold on 
Uh, so the idea is that all of these items will be hop onto a train and that train kind of goes close to uh, over here and then eventually we're going to head uh, all these items to the new area and um, yeah so uh, this is a kind of in preparation for the the new build that I want to do um, in the new area I haven't connected the machines yet so I've still got quite a bit to do um, but there's 56 what they call the refineries I'm using the recipes that use residual plastic and residual rubber and so I need a lot of water so underneath we've got all the water pumps and up above, as you can see, we've got all the refineries. I'm trying something a little bit different here with the uh, with the setup. It's an odd location, to be honest, and it's really foggy and misty around here. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing with this. And here's that train track, so it'll be easy to get these goods. I'll put a train station somewhere around here. And then once all of these items are prepared there, and I've done that and connected that all up, I'm going to send all these items just here. And there's a couple copper nodes somewhere here, I think. Yeah, over there, there we go. So there's a couple of copper nodes here. And then after this, I'm going to change. Um, at the moment, all these builds are very kind of like industrial, futuristic industrial. Um, but I'm going to change up style, I think, now and go for something a little bit different. And for the new build in update six, I think we'll go for a new kind of style as well. But yeah, anyway, so that's the latest build I'm working on. And I've still got quite a bit to do to connect everything up. On the sides here where I've got the refineries, what I'm going to do is put a convey a, a wall hole there on each of the on the floor there and the pipe and the output will come back here and, and a merger kind of sticking half through the uh the slanted wall piece there's enough space here in the middle area to run all the the pipe work and conveyor work just about i think it should be enough i hope and that should give me about 360 plastic no 360 rubber and about 320 plastic i think and it's doing 1560 scrap but I'm going to send the scrap on, as I mentioned, to uh, this area here where we've got the copper nodes and turn those scrap into casing and L-clad sheets. And then from here, catch on to this train again and head off into the, the new area in the Update 6 by and we can start a new project uh, in those new areas, which are hopefully it should be cool. But anyway, so that's what I've been up to uh, recently. And we'll see where we go from there. Alrighty. Yes, yes. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And maybe I'll catch you again soon.